so what you're seeing right now is my Renogy 200 watt solar panel suitcase. So it comes in the protective case that you will unzip. I love that this has a protective casing so that when you put it up, it is stays protected and it won't be exposed to being damaged. So now what I'm showing you is that there's latches on either side. Undo each latch. And then I'm taking out my cords that I can hook up from the panels to my generator inside my home. That's another awesome thing about this solar suitcase is that you can store your cords inside. Now what you're seeing is that it has legs. So the legs are adjustable. So right now I'm laying it flat while I pull up and tighten up the legs on the panels. Now just lean it back and then you can adjust the legs how you want to, to whichever angle you like. And that's it. Easy peasy. All done is me putting up my Renogy solar suitcase, which is 200 watts. That's 100 watt panel, another 100 watt, but they're connected, folds, folds up, and I can put my cables in between and then put it in the suitcase and carry it around. So next, you will see me putting up my Harbor Freight solar panels, and that's a little bit more difficult because it's bulkier. These are four panels, one, two, three, four, and each one has a leg. Each one of these can be used individually. So you can use one or you can use two or up to all four. They're all connected with this. On an MC4 connector. I believe it's MC4. Okay, so I'm gonna get up close and personal. I need to clean these off, um, but they are they are active. If you can see the blue light, so they are active. And let me come around. And like I said, these are. Let me see if I can get a better view. So these are 100 or 25 each, and. It's kind of hard to get a grasp of what's going on. They're connected by these. And then um, I don't find them to be very sturdy. Okay, so it's connected here and then there, as well as over here 
down here and then all these wires come together into um, uh, everything is connected to this adapter this four-way adapter that came with it and then I just plug it in so it has this type of plug that I use for uh, charging my battery which is the smaller one whereas the nature generator uses as lead former said this type of plug and you know I have it connected together it's easy peasy and then sorry about that guys I have like I don't know 10 feet that I can take into my home and plug into my generator. But this is the Renogy. The Renogy has legs on them. Okay. The panels that Lead Farm 73 has, they're not on uh, legs. And this folds up, like I said, into a suitcase. There wasn't a, net for a necessity for me to order one that had a charge controller. However, like I said, I ordered the one without it. They sent me the one with it, but they charged me for the one without the charge controller. So, I mean, if I want to hook up a regular battery to it, I can, just like my other system. Not necessary, though, but um, yeah. So there was those panels were around 400 and some dollars, but... They offered this payment plan that I, I signed up for and I have, I think, I forgot how many months, but it was a payment plan. I was like, okay, I can, I can do the payment plan. So that's what I did. So just so you know that um, there's some other options. Of course, you have the Harbor Freight, which, um, like I said, I haven't been on the website to see if they changed out their panel or what they've done. And, um, but those do have legs on it. I do like that, but I don't like the connections. It's very awkward and wobbly. And the Renogy isn't. It is literally like a suitcase. And as you saw in the beginning of the video, um, and I've showed in my other video, this is the suitcase for my solar panels. And it zips up. And then you can carry it around and this is a protective case i can put my i can also put my wiring and everything inside and close it up everything's together makes it really really easy so um that's just what i have on my um solar panel setup that i have and i just wanted to show the difference now as far as cost i was able to get the harbor freight panels for it was around a hundred, hundred and some dollars. I did a video on that, on, um, but it wasn't expensive. And I think they've come out with some new ones. I haven't been to the website, but I mean, they're sufficient for what they do. But the Renogy is, oh my gosh, these are so bomb. These are great. And um, like I said, I need things that are portable and easy to move around. It is, it is easy. At the time, it was like 400 and some dollars for this particular one because they have some they come with a charge controller and some without a charge controller so you have to be careful in reading that i ordered my renogy panels without the charge controller however i will show you they did send the one with the charge controller but they charged me for the panel without the charge controller so yes this is the charge controller on the back and um, that one, if you order the panels, if you order the panels um, without it, it's less expensive. That's why I did it, because I didn't need a charge controller. My uh, nature's generator, of course, has a charge controller as well as the inverter, all that is built in. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to put up my Renogy panels. Okay, everyone, this is what you're seeing is me folding up the legs in the back.
Now I'm folding it in half because this is hinged. And then I will uh, position it on its side. And this is the really neat part I like about it because then I can take my cables for the panels and put them in between. Gotta make sure everything is inside. Now, it's just a matter of latching the panels. Now all I have to do is take my solar panels and put them inside the suitcase or the protective case. Zip it up. And you are good to go. My nature's generator um, is already charged. I should have did a video on that, but I didn't. But I did want to show the difference between the two panels, the Harbor Freight panels that I have, as well as the Renogy panels that I have. So, um, but the Renogy is 200 watts together, and that's too much for my smaller battery, but it's perfect for my nature's generator. Okay, as you can see, I have my Harbor Freight solar panel set up, um, right there. And now I have it connected to the wire coming in the house. I have it going to my charge controller. See, this is the wire to the solar panels. Solar input, it's taking a charge. And then I have the charge controller connected to the, my small battery a little battery so it can recharge.